Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Beauty may only be skin deep, but it's a multi-billion dollar global business which is booming thanks to the allure of perfection. So you've got to stay tuned right now with us as we report on the latest beauty trends from autumn, winter 2013-2014. Um, some of the looks you'll want to try right now. So just as fashion changes every season, so too do we see the new looks in hair and makeup as winter approaches. Winter approaches us. Uh, with us in studio, we have Margot, who is here to give us a roundup of the top beauty looks created at the International Fashion Week. How are you doing? Good, thanks, Minnie. How are you? I'm very, very well. Now, you have to tell us what are the makeup trends um, from New York Fashion Week, Paris, Milan, London. I'm feeling jet lagged already. I you know, know we just made it back, but we are getting so excited about Although we have to think six months ahead, winter, mm -hmm. we're still enjoying our summertime here. Mm -hmm. um, we've got lots to look forward to, and I'm sure we're going to see some images now that we can chat through. Yep. So let's see, our first look is um, the Neo Naturals from the Ralph Lauren and the Narciso Rodriguez. Yeah, I mean, Love look at this. this. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I know the lead makeup artist for Narciso Rodriguez, Dick Page, was briefed on if it's not broke, mm -hmm. don't fix it. I love so Narciso that. loved this look and he just said he did a wash of brown eyeshadow across the eyes, a sweep of blusher and a very nude lip. Yeah. So as we don't all wake up looking like this, yeah. um, for us it's a bit of concealer and a BB cream, keeping the skin radiant mm -hmm. um, and not doing too much else. What I really like is the fact that, you know, with keeping the natural look, the natural look doesn't mean waking up and not having makeup yeah. on, it just means enhancing what you have already exactly. naturally. So the next look has to be the dark eyes. I love this. Yeah. I think it's so dramatic, so fashionable, so high fashion, which exactly. is a huge trend on, on the on the runways. There's always a new take on a smoky eye. And mm -hmm. this is a steel eye. It's a lot of black pigment, black shadow, so go out and get some. And a quick tip, if you are a little bit older or an anti-aging tip is rather take the shadow up and all your liner up. Okay, because you that automatic down. facelift. Exactly, it's Love a little that. facelift with makeup. Um, but yeah, these are beautiful and don't don't go overboard on your lips. Yes, yeah. definitely. You've got to keep so, it quite nude. Yeah. Keep the drama at the eyes. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, if you want a dramatic lip, is the red lip. I love this lip. Me too. I'm such a big fan and for winter, there's nothing more classic than a red lip. Mm. Um, the key though to getting your lipstick to last is to look at the formula. So go for something long wearing mm -hmm. or matte, not something sheer or glossy because yes. it's actually just going to go away. Literally. Yeah. Um, How do you prevent it from bleeding? A lot the liner. of yeah, concealer. Okay. Just conceal, conceal around your lips and then liner. Find a liner that matches your lipstick and obviously line your lips and actually colour them in and cool. then apply your lipstick and that's going to awesome. help your lipstick last. Awesome and uh, one of my favourites as well after the red lip has to be the burgundy lip. Um, a lot of dark lips that we're mm. seeing um, this winter which is really really awesome. Yeah. For every trend there's obviously a counter trend mm. and to avoid looking like an extra on twilight <laughs> it's all about <laughs> keeping your skin luminous. Um, okay. you can, so use a luminizing foundation, use a tinted moisturiser, get that dewy look um, rather than you don't look like a corpse. Yeah. And then the next one is bold eyebrows. I love this because I, I don't like the really, really thin eyebrows. I think it doesn't look great, but this is really, really cute. This is going back to, um, what's her name, Kristen? No, 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 Kristen. The the one from, okay, I'm, I'm, I've lost it, I'll remember it now. No. I'm, I'm a huge fan of bold brows. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we've, we, it's great that Brooke we're getting Shields. away. Brooke Shields, That's yes, and a Calvin Klein. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're getting away from very skinny, over-plucked brows. And yes. if you have over-plucked, there are so many lash and brow growing serums on the market. So get one of those. I'm using one at the moment, it's amazing. Lovely. And then to pull off um, the bold brows, you have to keep them groomed. So mm. make sure you either go and have your, your tweezed or threaded. You can't really go around with unruly bold brows. Definitely, Not it just looks a, a bit look. scary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But now another huge trend though is hair. Now you know a lady can't walk out the house without her hair looking good. <laughs> so Look what you. are the trends? The first one is obviously the side part. Well, as you can see, I'm a fan. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and so is Calvin Klein. Mm -hmm. um, and. A, a, key, a tip here is really let your hair fall in the natural way that it falls. Don't okay. go against the grain if you're doing a deep side parting. Okay. And use your outer eyebrow, the corner of your outer eyebrow, as a guide oh, to nice. do a really deep side part. Okay. And then a bristle brush probably will give you that lovely sheen and really keep the hair together. But if you're still struggling, use the back of a comb and gel and just 
put, use I the back like of the comb. It. Yeah. I think it looks very sleek, very chic. Now, very talk cool. to me about the ponytail. This has always been a huge trend. Um, it's one of those go-tos, mm. but now we can actually make it look really, really high fashion instead of just getting your hair out of your face. About two seasons ago, we saw a very bouncy, polished pony at Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Everyone loved it. Now, this is far more sleeker mm -hmm. and sitting in the nape of your neck. Like that. Uh, it's all about shine spray. Mm. So gather back your hair. Um, it's very easy to take from the bottom mm -hmm. to cover your elastic band and then just twist your hair over the elastic band and pin it mm -hmm. underneath and then just spray that shine serum everywhere. Nice. And then um, another one has to be the slick back. I know Cameron Diaz used to love mm. this look back in the day. It's back and it looks super, super, super hot. This is the best look if you're having a bad hair day. It is, right? Just put a whole bunch of gel on your hair back. I love um, it. And, and if you have very thick, coarse hair and a lot of volume happening in the back, mm -hmm. literally just get a wet look gel. Mm -hmm. That's going to look gel, not greasy. Definitely. Slick it through and, and stop it about halfway down. And then you're good to go. I love it. And also, any hair length. That's what I love about it. Yeah. You don't have to have long or short hair. You can have any hair and it looks great. Ladies, if you guys have no excuse not to look absolutely awesome this autumn and winter. But right now, let's check out what Graham has in store for you.